Welcome back to my channel IMDB 8 Recap. Today I'm going to explain the crime drama and fantasy movie Perfume, the story of a murderer, released in the year 2006. The movie is about an abandoned boy who murders several young, beautiful girls to create the world's rarest perfume. But before we begin to tell you the story, please subscribe to our channel, as we really need your support to grow and keep making these amazing recaps. Thanks from the team of IMDB 8 Recap if you have subscribed, and beware of the spoilers. The movie opens with a young man named Jean-Baptiste Grenouille in a prison in grass. A handcuffed Jean-Baptiste is taken out of jail, and in front of a crowd, the judge sentences him to death two days later, to which the crowd cheers. A flashback then tells the story from the beginning of Jean-Baptiste's life, where a woman selling fish in a French fish market gives birth to him under her stall. The woman throws the newborn baby in the garbage. This is the fifth child of this woman, but this child's fate is different from the others. The child starts crying, which draws the attention of the people around him, after which his mother is caught. The mother is hanged for killing the child, and the child is sent to an orphanage. Even the children of the orphanage stay away from him because he is not a normal child at all. His sense of smell is very sharp, and he can feel things around him by smelling them. When Jean-Baptiste becomes a teenager, Madame Guillard, the caretaker of the orphanage, sells him to Grimal, the owner of a leather tanning factory. When Madame Guillard is about to return, some robbers cut her throat and steal her money. Now, Jean-Baptiste worked as a tanner for many years in tan factory. One day, Grimal takes him to town for a delivery, where he experiences for the first time many beautiful and seductive scents. Jean-Baptiste follows scents without telling Grimal and ends up at a perfume shop, where he smells different beautiful scents. His attention then turns to a young girl, whom he pursues for her scent. Jean-Baptiste scares the girl with his strange behavior. When the girl tries to scream, Jean-Baptiste puts his hand over her mouth and unknowingly strangles and kills her. After death, the girl's fragrance fades. Jean-Baptiste tries to capture the scent but fails. Jean-Baptiste's boss then beats him badly because he left without telling him. On the other hand, an Italian perfumer, Giuseppe Baldini, is languishing in his defunct shop because his fragrances are now out of date, and he hasn't launched any new ones yet. While its competitor now introduces a new perfume called Amor and Psyche in the market. Giuseppe tries hard to find the composition of this perfume but fails every time. Then one night Jean-Baptiste comes to Giuseppe's house to deliver him goat tanned leather. Jean-Baptiste finds the scents and essences in Giuseppe's house fascinating and wants to stop there. He also urges Giuseppe that he wants to work with him. Jean-Baptiste tells him that his sense of smell is very sharp and that he can be of great use to him. At Jean-Baptiste's request, Giuseppe allow him to make a more and psyche perfume, much to his surprise. But Jean-Baptiste tells him that this perfume is not good and that he can make him a lot better perfume. He then adds some more essence to Amor and Psyche and gives it to Giuseppe to check, but Giuseppe scolds him and kicks him out. After Jean-Baptiste leaves, Giuseppe is truly amazing when he checks out the perfume he made. The very next day, Giuseppe goes to Tannery and buys Jean-Baptiste from Grimal. At night, Grimal is on his way drunk, and he collides with a cart and falls into the water, where he dies. Now, Giuseppe's shop is once again full of customers, and his perfume is the talk of the town. At Jean-Baptiste's insistence, Giuseppe tells him the principles of perfume making just like musical chords. A perfume chord consists of 12 essences in groups of three, carefully selected for their harmonic affinity. Giuseppe also explains that according to ancient Egypt, there is also a 13th essence, which when mixed makes a perfect perfume, but people think that the 13th note is in heaven because 12 essences can be identified but not the 13th. Jean-Baptiste is obsessed with preserving human body odor. He learns from Giuseppe how to obtain essence through distillation and then tries to distill iron, stone, and glass, even cats, but fails. He is angry with Giuseppe because he lied to him about getting the scent of everything. Giuseppe advises him to go to grass. Giuseppe prepares his travel documents, and in return, Jean-Baptiste gives about a hundred perfume formulas to Giuseppe before leaving. Afterwards, Jean-Baptiste leaves for grass, but Giuseppe does not get the chance to complete the formulas as the house collapses and he does not survive. On his way to grass, Jean-Baptiste chooses a path through woods and mountains. While climbing a mountain, he smells rocks from a cave, which he likes. Jean-Baptiste spends a lot of time there. One night he wakes up and realizes that his body smells of everything but his own scent, which is nowhere to be found. Jean-Baptiste cleans himself with rainwater, but his body smells nothing. He feels as if he has no existence and no trace without the scent. That is why he is now once again motivated to go to Grosso so that he can learn the Enfleurage method there and make the best perfume in the world. As he approaches the city, a cart passes by in which a beautiful girl is sitting. 
Jean Baptiste gets very excited to smell this girl because he has never smelled such a scent before. Jean Baptiste enters the city and follows the girl. The name of this girl is Laura Richies, who is the daughter of a rich man named Antoine Richies. From the next day, Jean Baptiste learns the art of enfleurage under the tutelage of Madame Arnolfi and Drouot and is doing his job with great skill. One night he tries to get the scent of a girl who works in a lavender field by hot enfleurage, but fails. Jean Baptiste then gives money to a hooker, and on her tries the cold enfleurage method. But she gets horrified to see a scraper in Jean Baptiste's stuff and wants to leave, and Jean Baptiste must kill her too to achieve his goal. He bandages her entire body with animal fat and then processes the fat to extract the girl's essence. The next day, the body of the hooker is found by the people at her place. Jean Baptiste uses the girl's essence, causing the girl's dog to run up to him and lick his hand. Jean Baptiste has now collected 11 more essences. He then sneaks into Laura's birthday party, trying to catch Laura during a game of hide and seek at the maze but failing. He captures two twin sisters and makes their essence. These two girls belong to a rich family, whose death created an uproar in the whole city, and now the search for the killer is on. But Jean Baptiste meticulously captures the essence of young, beautiful girls by killing them one by one and leaving their bodies in various locations around the city. Because of Jean Baptiste, the whole city has become desolate, and people are afraid of this unknown killer. All the officials in the court have failed, everyone thinks that this murderer is a devil. That's why they should go to church and pray to God to get rid of this devil. But Antoine Richies feels that they must use their God-given talent and intelligence to catch the killer. The next day, a sermon is held in the church, presided over by the bishop, in which the whole town is present. Meanwhile, a messenger comes and tells them that the murderer has been caught in the city of Grenoble and has confessed all his sins. The whole city rejoices and organizes a celebration. Laura also joins the celebration and is having fun. Jean Baptiste has created his perfume, but he needs the last 13th essence to complete it. He keeps an eye on Laura during the celebration, but Antoine doesn't let Laura stay there because he thinks the killer is still at large. Antoine believes in his daughter's beauty, and he also believes that the killer will surely follow Laura. That's why he plans to take Laura away from the city, but unfortunately, Jean Baptiste also detects Laura with his sense of smell and follows her. In the city of Grasse, the hooker's dog digs up Jean Baptiste's residence and retrieves some clothes. Druot sees all this, and when he explores the place further, the hair and clothes of 12 girls come out. Everyone is convinced that the real killer is Jean Baptiste. Away from the city, Antoine brings Laura to an inn and tells her that he dreamed last night that Laura, like the other girls, was murdered and that he believes the killer is still on the loose. Therefore, Antoine accepts the marriage proposal sent by the Marquise on Laura's behalf, and soon their marriage is arranged in the monarchy. Hearing this, Laura gets angry, but Antoine doesn't want to take any risks and locks the door of Laura's room and stays in the next room. Jean Baptiste arrives at night, walks past the soundly sleeping servants to Antoine's room and opens Laura's room by picking up the key lying next to him. He is about to hit Laura in the head and kill her. He is stunned by Laura's beauty. Laura's eyes are open, and she is shocked to see Jean Baptiste in front of her. But before she can scream for help, Jean Baptiste silences her. The next morning, Antoine has a strange feeling, and when he goes to Laura's room in fear, she is in the same situation as the other girls. Jean Baptiste is far away in the mountains, preparing Laura's essence. When Jean Baptiste has produced the essence, the soldiers come to arrest him. Jean Baptiste is arrested, and Antoine questions him as to why he killed his daughter. Jean Baptiste replies that he needs Laura. Antoine tells him that he will torture him to death. Now back to the present, where Jean Baptiste has been sentenced to death. Two days later, as Jean Baptiste is being taken out of prison for his sentence, he puts on the world's rarest perfume he has created. A mob gathers in the town square and expresses its hatred for Jean Baptiste. All the officials are present, but when Jean Baptiste is brought there, he comes not as a prisoner but as a king. The perfume made by him has left its trace. When he comes to the gallows, the executioner standing before him kneels and begs for his forgiveness. As soon as his fragrance spreads, the crowd calls him innocent and angelic. Jean Baptiste takes out a handkerchief, puts a few drops of perfume on it, and waves it in the air, causing everyone to become ecstatic, and they all fall in love with each other. Everyone forgets why those people are there. Seeing this reminds Jean Baptiste of the plum selling girl he accidentally killed and lost her scent forever. Tears fell from his eyes. Then Antoine comes to him with a sword and tells him that his magic has not affected him and that he will surely punish him. But he is unable to stab Jean Baptiste and kneels before him. Jean Baptiste leaves, and later everyone regains consciousness as the perfume wears off. They don't remember Jean Baptiste at all. 
Druot is imprisoned and executed after finding the clothes and hair of the twelve girls at his place. In Jean Baptiste's hand is the vial that is more powerful than anything in the world, he can bow the world's greatest king at his feet and rule the whole world. But Jean Baptiste has something else in mind, he goes to the place where his life began. He arrives at the same French fish market where his story begins, pours the entire bottle of perfume on himself, and is surrounded by people as if he is an angel. When the crowd disperses, only Jean Baptiste's clothes are there. He perishes like the scent of perfume. No one remembers that Jean Baptiste even came into this world. The movie also ends with the conclusion of his story. Overall Perfume, The Story of a Murderer is a great movie to watch with an amazing storyline, so make sure to check it out. To watch many more exciting recaps like this, don't forget to subscribe as that's the only way we can keep making these fantastic recaps and like this video. Let us know in the comments section about your next favorite movie that you would like us to recap. Thanks again for watching and stay safe and healthy.